Hey, Eric, uh, thank you for your time. Um, I know this is a difficult game, um, and it felt like there was a lot of pressure on the defense. I'm pretty sure you felt that as well during this match. Yeah, in the first half, uh, half especially, um, they created numbers overloads higher on the field. Um, we tried to get pressure to the ball up the field, and when you don't recording get in progress, when you don't get pressure um, to the ball, or when the ball is up the field, then now we're in numbers deficient um, on the other side of the ball, and so. Uh, we cleaned that up in the second half. That's why we were able to dominate the ball a little bit more. Uh, we're not used to playing teams who are so comfortable with the ball and dominating the ball a little bit like they did in the first half. And so I think we got a little bit impatient at times um, to try to win balls, but um, something we adjusted to. Wish we could have buried a couple of our chances and uh, got ourselves back into the game. Yeah, uh, you know, earlier Greg kind of mentioned some of the decision making, uh, you know, kind of needing that to improve. Um, for you, how do you think this team needs to improve in their decision making and, you know, maybe at times trying to keep it simple and not force the perfect play? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, I think we can improve um, on both sides of the ball with, with some decision making things. For example, in the first goal, I think I could do a better job of create, making a foul and stopping the attack. I think we can do a better job of being smart about um, fouling. The second goal, we turn a ball over in, in, in between our lines, something that we do a little bit too much, and I think something that we can clean up. And so um, we've got good players and players who want to play, and we're a team that wants to play with the ball, and at times we're going to be um, uh, in, in difficult situations defensively if we turn those balls over. Um, that happened today. So, yeah, sure, there's a couple things we need to clean up. I think we've done a better job throughout the year and gotten better at some of those things. As Greg said, last game was our best game defensively. Um, we weren't so good at that in the first half, but I felt like we did a much better job in the second half. We were much clearer, um, and therefore they didn't create very many chances. So if we can play like that, I think we have a real chance. You know, being in the last place in the Western Conference at the moment, um, I know it must be frustrating for you being in the locker room right now. Um, you, know, you guys are a team that love to play with possession, and at times you guys have really struggled to score. Um, how are you guys trying to stay on the positive end of that? Because I know that can be very frustrating. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a process-oriented type of person rather than a results-oriented type of person, and uh, understand that this is a results-oriented business. But I, I think that we've done a lot of good things throughout the process. I think um, this this team believes in and what Greg is is teaching. I think we've seen a lot of good moments throughout the year, and. Um, those positive moments are what you really try to build off of. And so we created a little bit of momentum before this game. Uh, unfortunate to lose it a little bit there in the first half um, in 45 minutes. But um, if you're going to uh, get down after a poor 45 minutes, then you can't survive in this league. It's a 34-match uh, season uh, with other competitions within it. Um, and so we're just going to try to create as much positive momentum. It's a group that believes in ourselves, um, believes in the ability in the room, and uh, if we can clean up some of the mistakes, I think we can we can do a lot uh, of damage in the league. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Damien. Hey, um, just want to get your thoughts on on the your on the young guys on the back line. Um, you know, Jalen, uh, Caligari, and, and Julian. Have you seen them sort of um, just handle these moments on the road? You know, it was, it was a tough road trip to Orlando. Um, and then coming into this game here, how do you think this group, that group has really handled uh, handled, handled everything um, going on the road in this league? Yeah, I think uh, extremely well. I think, you know, Julian uh, Caligari, they have both played in big leagues with ruckus fans. Um, I can tell you firsthand that some of these Latin American fan bases are, are difficult to play uh, against, and so they understand um, that – Playing away from home is not uh, so easy. Um, Jalen settled in quite nicely since he's since he started. Um, he's a kid who's well well mature beyond his years. I'm sure you've heard that a hundred times from other people. And so um, I think that you know there's learning curves and um, and you know experience that comes with all kinds of different atmospheres and different games. And so uh, I think they're gaining that. But um, you know I think that it's something that they're more comfortable with than than the average young player for sure. And, and for you, you personally, coming into your, your first start, I believe, this season, um, how did you think you had you handled tonight? Yeah, it was okay. Um, it's difficult to, you know, to, to come into a game uh, 12, 10, 12 games into a season when you haven't played tons of minutes. Um, 
especially in the first half with with such a difficult half uh, playing against it a bit for for 45 minutes it's difficult you uh, I was forced to make a lot of plays I was forced to be in a lot of defensive situations which isn't exactly a recipe for your first 45 minutes but I felt like you know we got through that was able to to, to build off of that and then have a much better second 45 and so um, most importantly, we lost the game. I'm disappointed with, with losing the game. Whether I play or don't play, all I care about is trying to win and trying to build um, momentum for this club, trying to get trophies into the trophy case in this club. And so I'm disappointed with that. I'm disappointed that um, I didn't hold the shutout. And uh, we move forward and, and try to get better for the next one. Thank you. Uh, next, we'll go to Josh. Hey, Eric. Thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it. Um, you were talking about the process. There's some guys out there who look like they're they're frustrated. Uh, Chicharito had a foul in the second half that looked very like much like a frustrated foul. Ricky got another yellow card for yelling at the referees. If you can play this team's therapist a little bit and being in the locker room, uh, how how do you settle those nerves? How do you how do you fix the frustra- frustrations? Well, positive results fix everything. Um, when when you win. Um, everybody thinks you're the best team in the world, and when you lose, everybody thinks you're the worst. It's just the reality of the business that we're in. And so um, positive results along the way, positive momentum along the way are are really important. But uh, those guys hate losing, and I'd much rather play with a bunch of guys who hate losing than a bunch of guys who don't care. Um, This is is a group of people, uh, a group of players who, who want to win more than anything, who believe in each other more than anything. And so... You're going to get some frustration along the way with those things. I was frustrated tonight. Um, you know, I, I wish that, you know, Ricky didn't get so many yellow cards by yelling at refs because we need him to play every single game. And uh, as we've seen, we've lost him for a game already for suspensions. Uh, but he's young and he's learning and, you know, he's frustrated. He gets kicked every single game, probably more than any player in the league. And so I can only imagine how that feels. And, and Cheech is a leader for us and someone who, who's not used to losing and doesn't like to lose. And so, again, I'll take that over or over a bunch of guys who are comfortable being in the position we are any single day. Thanks, sir. Travis Hill. Thank you. And last one, we'll go to Rob. Hey, Eric. Thanks so much for uh, talking with us. Uh, to piggyback off of what Josh just asked, um, Galaxy fans have heard about the process or some variation of trust the process continuously what would you say to them uh, what would you say to the Galaxy fans that are worried about the start and about the form of the team I, I think these Galaxy fans have been uh, have seen a lot of success um, over the history of this club and so this is not a start that they're used to I can tell you that there is nobody here who isn't trying every single day to find solutions to the problems that we have and to uh, create positive momentum and create uh, better nights for them. It's difficult to go on the road in this league. Um, it's difficult to win games in this league. We've seen that. We've had some bad moments go our way, uh, uh, go against us. Um, and, you know, again, I think we've found a, a, a way and a rhythm throughout the last few weeks that we can build off of. Um, whether they believe in that or not, I'm not sure, but we believe in ourselves within this locker room. And uh, until you start seeing guys who aren't frustrated and who don't care anymore, um, then I, I say to them, uh, believe in us. Uh, we believe that nothing is lost yet this season. We're not happy. We're not satisfied with where we are, and uh, we're going to continue to get better. We're going to continue to watch film, um, and every single player who steps on that field is going to give everything they can for the crest, and uh, we'll live with what the results come at the end of the year and, and, and hopeful that that ends in a trophy or two. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time, Eric. Thank you, guys.